Hey everyone, it's Laura here. I'm just going to show you some things I picked up from the last few days at thrift stores. And um, I've got quite a few things to show you. They're not all set out right now. There's some in the other room hanging up. So I'll probably make this a two-part um, thrift haul and let you see what I found. The most interesting piece that I found on Sunday was this etching. I've just put it in this box to try and keep it safe for now. But it did come with a frame, and the frame didn't have glass, and the wooden frame, it was actually broken and was snapping off at the sides. So it wasn't an original frame or anything, and I took it out of the frame, and it is, it's got a description down here, but I can't make it out, and it's got the artist's signature. And then in the picture, in the etching, I'm not sure if you can see it, but it says Willy Schultz, and it's from Germany. And I've been doing a lot of research on this etching to try and find out more about Willy Schultz. And he's from Germany, and he passed away around the between the 1960s and 1970s, and he was born around the 1880s. And I've been looking on eBay, and some of these are going for quite a bit of money on eBay. I've seen someone in America who had two of the et etchings, and they were asking $250 at auction. And I've seen some private auctions on Google that they, they were asking €290 Euro for one of them. But I'm not sure what the name of this piece is, because I can't make out the writing. And I'm trying, I was trying to figure out a date to the piece, and going by the colours of what the people are wearing, and I reckon it could be from around the 1940s. And I've seen on um, one of the art galleries on the internet, a man wrote in a question, and he said that his wife inherited it, inherited her etching from her father, and he brought it back from World War II. And that's how the, the etchings came out of Germany. So um, it's an interesting piece, and for a dollar, um, I've had good fun researching it and trying to see where it's from and different things like that. So I was quite excited to find this piece and um, for some reason when I was in the thrift store I was going to, I put it back on the shelf and I stood there thinking no I should just take it and then I asked the lady how much it was and she just said oh a dollar, the frame's broken. So um, yeah, so I'm not sure what to do with this, I might, um, I've seen a gallery on on um, Google that said you can email pictures of your your piece of work and then they'll appraise it and see um, tell you information about it so I might look into that and send that off and have a look I also picked up this vintage bag and all the bags in one of the shops was half price so I got this for two dollars and it's wooden so I think I'm going to keep that for springtime to sell then. And I also got two bags of this vintage tie pins, tie bars, sorry, not tie pins, tie bars. They were a dollar for the two packets. And I got a grip of watches, and in the bag of watches, I found two guest watches. And they're stamped with the dates from the 1990s on the back. And this was a letter piece, this is from Guess as well. There is a Baby G watch and just some other, there's a Qantas one that's Australian Airlines, just a few different different watches and um, this one works, I've already put a battery in it, it's a Citizen Quartz watch and a few for the necklaces, if you see um, the watches that go on chains to wear as a necklace I usually ask the starting price around 15 to 19 dollars for them. And I got a Lady Beetle one that's actually working. Which Sarah Coventry made a Lady Beetle one, so I think this would be a later piece. They've taken her design and made similar pieces. And another pendant one, which I've got necklaces for, I can just add a necklace to them. So I got all those watches for five dollars. And something else I got that is in its original box is just this table setting and it's all hand cross stitched and it's got the napkins to go with it. And I got this for three dollars. 
I haven't really sold anything like this before, so um, again, I'm just trying to look and see some different things to try and sell in my eBay shop. I got a lot of vintage belts as well. They were all a dollar each. A 1980s glass beaded belt, just a stretch belt. Another leather belt, a long leather one that you tie around your waist. A black belt with tassels. And the metal belts, I got them for 50 cents each. So I usually put the metal ones up in a grip lot because I find if you can post it flat um, with the flat rate postage we have here in Australia, we put them in a satchel so you can post up to three kilos for $11.20. Um, because the metal ones are really heavy, I try and get more, a lot together so that um, the buyer is more inclined to bid on it so they get more belts for their money. I also got um, a lot of books today for a filler bag for $4. I've already taken out books to give to my mum and my brother and I've kept some for myself because we're all big readers. But um, I got this, I thought this one was interesting, I just popped it in the bag. It's UFOs and the nature of reality. But all these other ones, um, I'm going to keep in a I'm keeping a massive group lot of books that I'm going to one day list when I have a couple hundred of them. And I've seen eBay listings go for quite a bit of money with that. So um, whenever I see full of bag signs and there's a few books that I want or my family would use, I grab it and then I just grab anything else they have as well that's interesting. Um, I found this bear today for a dollar and um, it's got all movable joints but um, I just thought it had an interesting face on it and um, whenever I go to thrift stores I always People must think I'm really funny, but I walk around and I feel the ears of the bears. And if you ever feel like a pin, sort of like a pin through the ears, um, it's a stafe bear. And uh, stafe bears, if they've got the original label on it, they've got the pin, but it's usually a yellow label that sticks out of its ear. And the stafe bears, are, they're collector's items. They're worth quite a bit of money. And my mum's got a few stafe bears and... She was actually selling them for a while on eBay too, but she's started to keep some. So later on, she's going to um, sell them off, and she says it's going to be a retirement money. But um, I picked this one up for a dollar, and I was just going to ask, ask my mum and see if it's anything good. I just thought it was a different looking face on the bear. But um, if also, if you find bears that if you shake them, they make a grunting sound, they're very old as well. And one day I was in a thrift store and I found a bear that made a grunting sound, but it was in pretty bad condition. And I told my mum about it and she said, oh, you should have just gotten it. You know, sometimes the more tattered they are, the more you can get for them. And I really regret not picking that bear up and I uh, went back the next day and it wasn't there. So um, I thought I'd grab this one for a dollar and show mum tomorrow and see, see what she thinks of it. But um, not too bad the last couple of days, but my eBay sales have been picking up again a bit this week. It's just trying to find time and get the photos taken, especially of the jewellery, because we've had a lot of rainy weather here, so the sun's not out to get clear pictures. But um, it's good. It's making me with more of my claws and try and clear out the spare cupboard a bit. All right, everyone, thanks for watching, and I'll show you the next next part of the thrift haul in the next video. Bye.